Okay, given matrix A is this two by two matrix, find A squared. So they want me to square a matrix. So what this means, A squared means matrix A multiplied by matrix A. Yeah, we can't, by the way, we can't just square all these numbers and call it good. That's, that's actually wrong. You can't do that. You have to actually, you know, a squared, a 2 on anything in math means 2 of those multiplied, right? So we have to actually write matrix A, which is negative 1, 1, negative 3, whoops, negative 4. Whoops, oh, let me try that again multiplied times the other matrix it's itself negative 1 negative 3 1 negative 4 so we're going to multiply those two matrices together so uh, the matrix by itself now remember how matrix multiplication works you got to check the sizes so this is a 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 2, the inside numbers match, so it's okay. And the answer matrix, the size, the size will be the two outside numbers, which is also 2 by 2. So yes, we can multiply these, this matrix by itself because the two inside numbers match. That makes it okay because they are equal. It's okay because they are equal. And the two outside numbers, 2 by 2. So the, this matrix is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix when we do it. So let's come on down. How do we actually do it? Let me bring it down. Let me bring it down here. So it's going to be negative 1, 1, negative 3. Whoops. That was a mistake. So negative 3 negative 4 multiplied by and then the other matrix same thing negative 1 1 negative 3 negative 4 so how do we actually carry it out remember we know it's going to be a 2 by 2 so it'll equal a big 2 by 2 and I'm going to have a big old line here, big old line there, here, there. It's going to be a big 2 by 2. Whoops, that didn't come out so good. I don't know why it's doing that. Let me try again. All right, so big 2 by 2. So let's carry out this multiplication. So remember how it works. Your left hand is going to go across and your right hand is going to go down. And so I'm going to go across here and down here, multiplying at every step. So I'm going to show this by hand and then I'm going to show it on a Desmos matrix calculator and there's also another video where you can do this on your TI graphing calculator if you have one of those. Let's multiply. So I'm going to go across, I'm going to do by hand first. So go across and down. So to go across, it's going to be starting here and starting here. Negative 1 times negative 1 plus, and then you move across and you jump down. 1 times minus 3. What is that? 1 minus 3, negative 2. That's how they got that. Now, now, now we're going to go to the upper right hand corner, upper right. So you're going to go upper again, but now you're going to shift over to the right. So I'm going to go across the upper again and down the right, multiplying at every step and adding them up. So here we go, starting at negative 1 times 1, plus, and then jump to the right and jump down. 1 times negative 4, what is that? Negative 1 minus 4, negative 5. So there we go on that. Now I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to do the bottom, so start with the bottom left, so I'll go across the bottom, and let me erase these, go down the left. So in other words, I'm going to go 
across the bottom and down the left here, multiplying at every step. So starting with negative 3 times negative 1, you can read that there, plus, and then jump across and down, negative 4 times negative 3. What is that? That's um, 3 plus 12. They both come out positive, don't they? 15. That's how they got that. Final step, across the bottom. Let me get rid of this here. Across the bottom and down the right. Bottom right, because I'm getting the bottom right entry. So bottom row, right column. So I'm going to go across the bottom and down the right, multiplying at every step. So here we go, starting with negative 3 times 1. Plus, and then you jump to the right and you jump down. Negative 4 times negative 4. What's that? Negative 3 plus 16. That's 13. That's how they got that. So there's the answer for multiplying a squared, a times a, like that by hand. Now let's do it on a graphing calculator by Desmos. I'll show you how to do that. Free website here. I'll go to my browser and I go to my search bar. This is Google search. I'm going to just type in Desmos, D-E-S-M-O-S, Desmos, -S -S, Desmos um, Matrix will work, I'm sure. Desmos Matrix. We'll see what it comes up with here. I think it'll come up with something quick and easy, but it's taking a lot of time. Desmos Matrix. Maybe I should have matrices. It gets it quicker that way. So there it is. Finally got it. So that, yeah, that top entry, Matrix Calculator Desmos. That's what you want. Click on that. Boom, there it is. It's a, it's a beta version. It says they're, it's, they're testing it still. So I'm just going to hit new matrix. And I'm going to, it says it's already set for two columns, two rows. So that's perfect. I'll go add matrix A. And now I'm going to put in matrix A, which was negative 1. And this entry is 1. And then down here, negative 3. And this entry was negative 4. So hit enter lower right corner, I hit enter, so it's got matrix A in there, now I'm going to hit a button, there's a button right there, A squared, whoops, I did the, I guess you don't just hit this, I guess you got to hit A, and then A squared, there we go, A and A squared, boom, it did it that quick, there's the answer we got, notice on the right side, minus 2, minus 5, 15 and 13, there it is, using the Desmos free calculator. This is at the website desmos.com matrix calculator. There it is. So by calculator. Now there's a second video attached where a gentleman does it on the TI-84 graphing calculator if you have one of those. So and here it is again by hand.